What do you think about XRP and where do you think it's going? So I know there's a lot of drama around XRP. There's a lot of haters out there. There's a lot of bulls out there. For me yeah. personally, you know, I'm, I'm aware of all of that. But for me, it's just noise. I disregard it to a certain degree. I don't care in many instances, you know, what I'm trading, whether it's a stock or a cryptocurrency, I don't care what it's doing when I have that short term mindset. I don't care what the company does. Yeah. And all I care about is what the price is doing. You know, if I can make money on a company that sells cookies, then great. On a chart like this for XRP, we can obviously see the resistance level. And it's going to vary depending on what exchange you're looking at because when things get really volatile, different exchanges hit some different price levels. And again, that has to do with the liquidity of the exchange. But I can see that we had a clear top at 78. Yep. And then we failed to break that on this last push that we had up to start February. So it's very clear to me that that is the long-term resistance level. That's the cap on the price right now, because if we can't get over that, then obviously the price is not going to go up much at all. Aside from that, looking at this daily chart, I can see that we also have a key resistance at 64 cents. It was all bulls controlling the price for day after day after day. We hit that price and then the bears have had control since then. So at this point, we are still in a daily uptrend. I see the pullback down here to 34 cents. So that's a support level. We then saw another higher low at 38.9. So that's a support level. And on this current pullback, I would say that we are just looking for another daily higher low to form. And what the bulls do not want to see is, is just what I showed on that previous chart for Litecoin. They do not want to see a failure to break 64 and then a drop down to break this low of 48. Because again, that would shift the trend from being in an uptrend, higher lows and higher highs, which is what we have been in over the past couple of weeks. And that would shift it to a lower high and then a lower low. And then we enter a downtrend and that shows us the shifting momentum and it shows us bears having short-term control. So I would say the key support in the short term is 48 cents. Mm -hmm. The key resistance is 64 cents, but the resistance yeah. is up here in the upper 70s. So for a long-term position, would you wait for it to break that resistance on the upper 70s? Is that where you would consider and, and holding above that price? At this point, yes. At this point, looking at the double top rejection, seeing that the price you know, went up 400 percent or so to even get to that level where it then rejected from and seeing that we have not seen weekly consolidation yet from that rejection, I personally would be patient in this range because when you have this much volatility, again, back to that equilibrium pattern, you yep. often see them form after massive volatility. So we've got a high, we came down and hit a low, we've got a lower high, and I would be watching for the potential that we need to pull back and set a weekly higher low compared to 17 cents. Again, when you run that hard and that fast, you oftentimes have to chill out for a bit and establish a new support level. So I personally would be waiting for a weekly higher low, maybe playing off of 17 cents or a break of that 78 key resistance. Let me give a good example or let me ask you about an example with fundamentals and charts because a while ago when the SEC news came out that they are suing XRP or and soon after that there was delisting of exchanges I actually before even this happened I saw on the charts that we broke a certain support level and I actually got out of my XRP position and got into SNX I made a video about this and then once I heard the news which came after the charts you know there's that saying show me the charts I'll tell you the news I assumed okay this is happening with SSC exchanges are, are in scrutiny right now they're probably going to start delisting XRP now most of them suspended XRP some delisted XRP and there was a whole lot of FUD obviously XRP kept on going down a lot of people held on to XRP while all other cryptocurrencies were going up and I said that I'll get back into XRP if a I have clarity on what's going on with the lawsuit. What exactly is this lawsuit? When is it going to happen? Or is this news going to die down over time and break resistance? But my resistance wasn't at 70 something cents. My resistance were, was around 60 ish. I was ballparking it. Mm -hmm. Would you say that's a good way to use fundamental, if that's what it's called, or macro analysis with technical analysis? Would you Absolutely. agree with that? There, there's a spectrum where on one side of the spectrum, you got fundamental analysis and the other side, you got technical. You never want to be full on one side or the other it's always a blend so i personally i would say i'm maybe you know 85 technical and 15 yeah. fundamental someone else out there is the opposite 
85 fundamental and 15 technical and it works for them. Yeah. So there are many different ways to utilize both in unison with each other. And I'm glad to hear you got out because that sounds like a great example where little bit of early warning. That's the other thing. We have inside information, which oftentimes can be seen on charts before the news is actually made public. So if you were trading XRP, would you be getting back in? Would you be staying out in general? With everything you've heard, everything you've seen, all the drama and everything, would you not touch it? Or would you just look at the charts? Would you get back in at some point? What would you do? So for me personally, there's too much other opportunity out there for me to spend time on XRP. And there's just too much drama. You know, if if everything's going up and there's significant gains out there in Bitcoin or ETH, that's where my focus is gonna be. And there's definitely a lot of volatility in XRP in both directions. So, you know, someone who is dedicating a significant amount of time to just this coin can definitely make a lot of money trading it. But as someone that has my eyes on stocks and on crypto Mm. and on, you know, the, the marijuana sector, I'm all over the place. So I just don't have time to devote as to what would be needed to follow all the news, essentially. 